Hi everybody, I'm Ray. How are you doing tonight? Wow, what a response. If you're here oh, if you're here tonight, you're cool. And a little crazy. But if you want your coolness factor to be verified, come to the Monday Night Jazz Jam here at Cuckoo Owl Studios. You'll find your Cuckoo Owl Studio cool quotient. It's cool to cultivate an active, uh, uh, an athletic body. <laughs> but are we carrying a volleyball in our strong arms or are we carrying it in our belly? Did you work those ad muscles or did you eat your way to a team sports ball inserted into your gut? <laughs> Remember the old cool? Driving fast in powerful cars? Eating fast food at drive-ins? Now that's crazy. The new cool is a global movement called slow foods. Yeah. Anybody heard of it? Yeah. Anybody a member? <laughs> okay, well. Um, I wrote a parody to the tune of Low Rider. <clears throat> So you've got to get the music going in your head, too. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. <laughs> oh, my friends were eating too much fast food. Then they tried eating food that is less rude. Slow foodist eats a little slower. Slow foodist is closer to the grower. Take a little trip, visit all the farms we see. Take a little trip, sample food on bikes with me. No gas. What's with all the power washing at the public library? <laughs> That's not cool. Rain or shine, early morning, obnoxious noise. I think they must be cleaning for the all-night homeless parties. <laughs> you know what's cool about homelessness? Nothing. <laughs> it's crazy. But, there, oh, wow, I can yell. There's a big difference between homeless people and street people. Homeless people just want to get back to a home, even if it's only a box, a shopping cart, or the site board when the Mercy insurance kicks back in again. Street people are modern gypsies. They do not like to be confined. Territorial, they own all the land, broken into camps. Our homes are in their camps. <laughs> it's my camp. You go. So territorial. We find them menacing. They find us annoying. We're just in their way. Especially if we fight back. Like the bicycle thieves. <laughs> Looking down on the Wailuka River. Middle of the night, sirens, flashing lights. Everybody's up. The cops pulled up 59 stolen bicycles, had to get more vans. People in handcuffs being shoved in cars. A few days later, they're back in business. The business of taking what's owed to them in taxes for allowing us to live in their campsites. <laughs> Modern Robin Hoods, that's what they are. Meanwhile, back at the library, <laughs> street people have a favorite party game they play, oh, around three or four in the morning. 
starts out like this. It goes like this. insane, they're not getting enough sleep. <laughs> Over on the mainland, people are already freezing their butts off. Monitor minimum. Blaming ourselves for an oncoming ice age? Ooh. We can take credit for pollution and ocean acidification, but solar flares? Hmm. I wonder if the dinosaurs blame themselves for the comet that wiped them out. <laughs> Stop being racist. It's not cool. It's crazy. Instead, try being prettiest. If someone is too damn pretty, we should totally discriminate against them. Or handsome, or young. Don't even let them sit down. Refuse to give them service until they get old. Then be ageist and discriminate against them for being old. It's perfect. It used to be cool to grow old. And you're silver wise, woman. <laughs> Not anymore. Now it's a battle to keep your teeth, your hair, your eyesight, and your memory. Forget being wise, just try to keep your driver's license. <laughs> now I know what Gandalf meant. <laughs> You shall not pass the driver's test. <laughs> well, how do you know when you're getting old? You can't see it in the mirror, you look the same. I still look pretty young. <laughs> well, just go to Ross Dress for Less. You know that place where you get lost in interior design. Oh, new pillows. New pillows. And you blissfully trance walk up to the counter, this 20-something millennial pulls out her megaphone, yells loudly, Seeing your discount? <laughs> they like to shock you, right out of a perfectly good fantasy state. Smack dab into old age. <laughs> Don't worry about whether you're old. Other people will happily let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a list of things women can use to pretend we're not old yet. Botox injections for perma-surprise eyes <laughs> and daffy duck lips. <laughs> Tattooed eyebrows are forever. <laughs> Padded push-up bra, youthful cleavage, butt-lifting jeans, and the shaper mint which is basically a modern-day corset. corset. I have to do that once every time, forget which page. Because you're old. <laughs> I, didn't use, I didn't use this. Okay. Okay, the ad shows woman after woman in their unshapely glory pulling one of these things up over all that hanging out business then smiling as the shape of mint makes her look so smooth. Now why am I getting these ads on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> Is artificial intelligence watching me work on my computer? Thinking, she needs more smoothing. <laughs> Let's tell her about shape mint, like over and over and over. Okay. <laughs> Is someone listening in? Whenever I hear ads about the great inventions of art artificial intelligence, 
I only have to remember all my fights with spell checker to know that it's not ready yet. It's not beneficial. We'd be better off listening to the Geico geckos. They are taking over Hawaii and the world one kitchen at a time. That's all for me. You guys are great. Thank you. Thank you.